Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the adventures of Manny Calavera in Grim Fandango. If you remember from last week, we had to get this little thing signed. However, every time we talk to our boss, well, every time we talk to our boss's secretary to get the damn thing signed, she just blows us off. So, we need to, with a bit of trickery, fool the secretary into letting us get that thing signed. So that requires quickly going outside, but first let's have a look at some of the lovely, lovely, lovely architecture again. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. Mm, you never know, Manny. You never know. And this happy man here. Ah, the old head of the department. Way before my time, I heard he was a total slave driver. And out into the streets. Ooh, pretty fresco. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Da caños. And if we go down here, we'll discover that they're hosting the Day of the Dead Parade! Complete with giant floating piñata balloons! Ooh, cool. And unfortunately due to what well, I'm assuming is 1990s limitations on graphics, they couldn't actually render everybody in the parade, so there's no way to get past and actually see the parade. Those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? I know, it annoys me and... Ah, Manny, I'm clicking up here. What? Why are you... Okay, see what I said about mouse controls being a little bit janky. To the keyboard. Ooh. And it even annoys this rather scarily eyebrowed fish. Okay. Well, first, we're gonna need... some of this. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Yep, bread of the dead. Now let's have a lovely conversation with this cheeky chappy. Let's look at it him. looks like some sort of crafty mine. I don't know if that's a Minecraft reference or what. Yeah, let's say hello to this lovely man. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Alas, we discover he's not so lovely and more of an asshole. Practicing what? Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Uh, twist me up one of them, will you, fella? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Not sure if that was a penis insinuation or what. I nearly said penis insulation then. That's a very strange concept. Okay, some festival, eh? Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? How the hell can you be busy? There's nobody on the street and your tent's facing the wrong way from the bloody parade and no one can reach you. Could you teach me how to do that? Could you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is... Blow! <laughs> okay, kids. Next bit's very important for a hint of what to do in a later puzzle. Keep your eyes on the bird and the balloon. Bang! Pop another one. Lousy bony fingers! Mm -hmm. Keep that one in your memories. Can we see the parade? Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, alright? Do I look like a turnstile to you? No, you look like a surprised onion with that makeup. Bet you can't do a cat. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead, name one. Well, we will need a balloon for a later puzzle. I'm liking the famous poets, I would have preferred Tennyson, but let's have a Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Complete with a little artistic flair. Ta-da! Cheers, buddy. We need another My two kid, things. Uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, gee. Yep. We need a, a dead, dead worm. worm. Heck, that's easy. 
There's no limit on those. Uh, we're gonna need another dead worm. My kid died. Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Thank you very much for dead worms and the balloon animal, sir. Adios. Okay, we need to go that way. Next, we need to venture down this little sidewalk. I mean, look at the detail in all these little bits and bobs in the pre-rendered backgrounds. They're beautiful. And what do we discover? A rope made out of cheap ties. It looks ties. like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. Alright, Manny. Flex those muscles. Get up there. Use your legs, you fool. Use your legs. Ah, never mind. We'll go up there eventually. That, I'm sure, is a health and safety hazard. Who knows who that dropped on. Now, if we go through here, we will discover our boss, Don Copal, is not actually in his bloody office. However, he has set up a rather ingenious It looks system. like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. So, let's fiddle with it. Now, what are we looking for? Bingo! Ah, cripe saver. Just sign it yourself, will you? Ya? I'm busy. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, cripe saver. Just sign it yourself, will you? Ya? I'm busy. Now, when we bring the document to Ava, his computer's going to play that when she presses the intercom button. Come on, down you go. Don't fall. Oh, come on, Manny. Run, run, run. Slow as can be. And let's have a look at a couple of the details on this side. Now this guy. I don't know who this guy is. I think he just paid for the lobby renovation. <laughs> uh, the number nine. There she is. The number nine. One of these days, I'm going to ride her right on out of here. And the staff boards. Let's see, where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. Unfortunately, I don't think we can go through here yet. So, let's get back up to the office. First, however, let's do a little something for a later puzzle. We need to get our deck of cards and pull a card out and punch a couple of holes in it. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. Right, let's put that back. And show this thing to Ava, and get greeted by a little cutscene. But first, you know Kapal's not really in his office. You know Kapal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Well, yes, that does seem like a very amusing prospect. But, sign this damn Ava, thing. Ava, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripe saver! Just sign it yourself, will you? Ya? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. And we all understand how it is when we have a difficult crossword. Go on, Grotus. Just lube up, baby. Get in there. Good man. Hey, 
I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Yeah, the living are kind of strange in this game. F you, Domino. Domino. Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. Yep, here we are, in the world of the living. Down there is a dead person, and for some reason I think that's a cat's face. No idea why. But first, let's freak them out. It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Boom. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. That face is truly traumatic. Mmm, food. I have to say, this food looks pretty good. Bound only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. I don't know if there's even anything in gazpacho that can technically kill you. Maybe if you get hit in the head with it, but that's not really a poisoning. Oh well, let's release this guy. Nice bathroom! For several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Poor choice oh, yeah. of words. Slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, do blowers, pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile, and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I oughta... Sleep well, Bruno. Ninety-nine. <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. Yep. Well, after that cutscene, I think that's a good time to leave it. Might have just been a short one, folks, but... Uh, if I finish this one at a regular time, I'm going to be halfway through the puzzles for the next one, so... I figure it's easier to break them up this way. Anyway, tune in next time, where we will be using every dirty trick in the book and a bit of industrial esp espionage to find ourselves a decent client at last. See you around!